Welcome to another episode of Good Cooking. And today we made a pot roast with carrots, onions, and potatoes that's sure to warm your heart. Well, I'm excited about this because this is now our seventh roast in three weeks. We have already filmed this, but uh, somebody messed up the audio. <laughs> we had a great episode. <laughs> but here we are now with another prime chuck roast. From Huntington Meats. The best butcher in LA. A boy, Jim. Hands down. Jim, John. Jacob, Beautiful. Jingleheimer, Schmidt. Beautiful cuts. Cuts. Okay, so we're gonna season this on all four sides. So we're gonna do a little salt. You wanna season it nice and generous too. A little garlic powder, a little pepper. Sprinkle that in there. Then we're gonna rub it in there. Get it all in there. Okay, so we got that. What do is flip it over. Give me a little sprinkle. That's good. Okay, I'll be in charge of salt. A little garlic powder, sprinky, sprinky. I like to do it from high up. I like watching it rain. Cool. Then we're going on to our side here. Hello. Give me a little sprinkle. Spread this out, all salted. Is that a string I see on there, Harry? There is a little string on here, and I'm just gonna keep that on here until I sear it so that it stays together. But then we're gonna take it off. Probably use it for dental floss later, but that's just, you know, it's, that's an just Italian Just suck thing. on it. it sounds delicious. That's called dessert. Don't be afraid to get Don't that. Don't be afraid. That meat seasoned up. Get all that, look at that, boop, 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 boop. Got a little all-purpose flour. Benny, what do you think about all-purpose flour? I think that there's a lot of purpose to it. Good for anything, all purposes. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna coat this, because what that's also going to do is create a little bit of gravy in our broth there. Ooh, it's gonna be phenomenal. Okay, <laughs> so here we go, I'm just gonna start sprinkling it. You better watch out for your black clothing there, my love. How about you? I was talking to Ben. Yeah. <laughs> get a nice coating on there, right? I'm gonna get a little on this side, just sprinkle it on. You know, ah, that's, that's nice. Okay. That's ready to go. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna bring this to the stove top, and in our Dutch oven, we're gonna sear it on all four sides. So now we're at the stove. Are you gonna help me? No, I mean, you, you, you got this. Lindsay's having Prosecco. Yeah. We're putting our stove top on a uh, medium, high, low, low, high, medium, medium, high, low, low, high. Medium. And then we're gonna put a little olive oil. We're just gonna coat <laughs> our little Dutch oven here. We're gonna coat that. We're gonna get our oil a little hot, and then we're gonna take these, look at those onions. We've quartered those. That's important. And then we're gonna sear those up and brown them. We're gonna wait. Prosecco are you drinking, Lindsay? This is a Mion, is it Mionetto? It is, from the people of Mionetto. Can you please send yes. us a bottle or two? We are running out of funds. It's my, uh, it's a, like a good daily driver. A what? Daily driver. Driving for the day? No. Daily driver. It was a it was a car term, Ben. <laughs> but uh, you know, you'll have to call your pops, who's a car guy, and he'll explain to you what a daily driver is. In your case, it's your car. Onion time. We're gonna slide these right into our hot oil there. I'm gonna wait for these to get browned up and throw 75 cloves of garlic in there as well. If you don't want to use garlic, there's something wrong with you. One, but <laughs> it's your own. It's your own roast. You can do whatever you want. But I would suggest the garlic. Wouldn't you suggest the garlic, Ben? I would not know the difference. Guy's firing on all cylinders, isn't he, my friends? Huh? <laughs> wait, pop quiz, hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these. Uh, there's a particular organ in your body. Organ or organ? Organ. 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 Well, I'm hearing like Portland. I heard Portland. I organ. Heard Oregon. Oregon. Organ? God. <laughs> so what organ? Is garlic good for? Heart? Yes. yes. I feel like you knew that. Yeah, that's why I got the right answer. I feel like uh, Becky has told you that before. Definitely not. We do not use garlic in the Thompson. Really? Are you being serious? He's leaving. <laughs> so you see we're getting a little color on these onions here, Benny boy. We want to get a little bit more color on that. And then we're going to scoop these out, but I'm going to throw my garlic in there first. I just don't want my garlic to burn because garlic burning is a bad thing. It gets very bitter, like me. You and garlic have so much in common. So much. We both stink. <laughs> Good for the heart. Sometimes. <laughs> You know, get us worked over a little bit too much and burnt bitter. Oh my God. You are garlic. I am garlic. That's why my name is Gary Garlic. More, I'm gonna let them cook a little bit more. Then we got about, I don't know, six or seven cloves and I just- uh, Smashed them. Smashed them up a little bit. Not too much, I'm gonna throw these in. There's actually no better smell, in my opinion. It's true. How do you feel about that? Yep. 
It's a nice color there. That's what we're looking for. A little brownage. Okay. Oh! What do you say? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. And then we're gonna take these out, put them in our bowl, and then we're gonna throw our carrots in. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna brown those up. We've got a lovely array of uh, carrots here. A little multicolor, a little purple, a little uh, white, a little uh, uh, orange. Is that what it is? Yellow, orange? I don't know. I think it's orange. <laughs> standard carrot color. They're standard carrots. Standard issue carrots. Standard carrots, I tell you. Okay, this bad boy's coming out. We don't want to get them too well done. Just a little Antonio Brown. That's it, a little Antonio Brown here. <laughs> internally, internally they're going to assault you. Putting these off to the side. Got our carrots, and we're going to throw those right in there. Oh! We'll let those brown up. Get them all nice and coated here. Said I'm browning, I'm browning. Browning up the carrots. Said I'm browning. I'm browning. I'm browning up the carrots. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Carrots. Is this shout out to Ike or Tina? Obviously Ike. Yeah, obviously. Guy held it down. He wrote the song. Guy held it down. <laughs> <laughs> He's never said about Ike. He held it down. Held it down. Tina was like, I'm pregnant. He's like, you singing? <laughs> okay, carrots are coming out. I'm gonna start scooping these out back in the bowl that they came in. And you wanna cut chunks like this, like in two, two and a half inches, because these things are gonna really cook down and they're gonna get very soft and you don't want to cut them too small because then they get just mushy. You wanna get these carrots a nice, you know, nice size. See that? Nice size. It's about two inches, right? Two inches. Do it now. Oh, Ben, ow. Ow. <laughs> ow. Ow. <laughs> ow. <laughs> He's not wrong. Let me scoop the rest of my carrots out here. Whoa, where are you going? Nowhere. All right, I'm turning my stove off for a moment. It's meat time. Yeah, but you need to leave it on high. I know, but I gotta readjust here. Time to see that roast. Get this on high. A little bit of the olive oil that we uh, sauteed the onions and the carrots in, and we're ready to go. You're gonna sear it all sides, one, two minutes. Per side. Per side. That's the sound of a roast searing on one side. That's the sound of the, the, a roast. roast. Working, Working on, on the, the chain. chain. Yay, yay, yay. Have we used this one before? Yes. It's okay, you can repeat. They do talk about the sound of food a lot. Yeah, because it's got, it's it's just alive, Ben. This is happiness. Nice flower. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, look at that sear. Oh, boy. There it is, Ben. Did you stay together because the string's still on? Yes, baby. See, we just want to get that little brown sear. See that? That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I like it like that. Yes, it's She's nice. working that back. I don't know how to act. Slow, slow motion, motion for me. me. Slow, slow motion, motion for me. me. Slow, slow motion, motion for me. me. This has become MTV. Uh, I like, I like, I like that. that. <laughs> that. She's working it's that thing. aggressive. Know. We're flipping. We're going on our side. Oh, look at that brown, Ben. That's what we're looking for. All right, time to take out. Now, throw a wine in. Just throw that in there. Woo! Somebody need a facial? Woo! Yeah. Let's scrape up those bits. We're doing a little deglazing. I'll get my string. I don't want my string on. Meat's going back in, baby. So we're gonna put in three cups of beef broth. Well, or until the meat is halfway you covered. You want the meat to be covered halfway. And if you think I ran out, I didn't. I go right into my pantry. I get myself another organic beef broth from Trader Joe's. This is organic, like my ass is not hairy. <laughs> and then it's time to throw our vegetables back in. Then we got, oh, look at this. Right out of the rabbit's ass. <laughs> what? I wanna work those in too, on the sides here. All right, now my beautiful wife and sous chef. Uh, I already did it, yep, save it. Therapist, it's right here. nurturer, <laughs> good woman. The reason why I'd go to heaven. Because I bring the potatoes. Now I season these potatoes because I like things seasoned. I don't like things, you know. With like what? A little salt, pepper, garlic powder. I've seasoned these with that. And we're gonna- Wait, what kind of potatoes? I don't know what the f kind of- They're Yukon Gold. 
The nice thing about this is you just put it all in one pot and you let it go. Set it and, and forget, forget it. it. Push these down, huh? Ike style. Ike style. <laughs> this episode is dedicated this episode to Ike Turner. To Ike Turner. <laughs> to Ike Turner. <laughs> you know what? Everybody makes a big deal out of Tina, okay? But nobody remembers who made those hits, literally and figuratively. I mean, Tina's in Switzerland living yeah, the best Ike life Yeah, Ike died ever. a long time she's, ago. He was the one dealing with all the stress. She's Watch laughing out. all the way to the bank. Final touches, got a little bit of uh, rosemary and thyme. Yeah, you take a couple sprigs. If I had twin female dogs, that's what I would name them, rosemary and thyme. We're just gonna let it sit on that like wouldn't. that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you have like Gus and Jerry. No, I yeah. wouldn't. <laughs> exactly. God forbid I have my own Even show. Even if they're girls. God forbid I have my own show, <laughs> but I don't. I have a lot of commentary over here. And we're gonna throw a little rosemary in there. That's gonna be so fragrant. This thing is gonna cook down three and a half hours and the smell, oh my God. You're probably gonna have a little eggnog with your wife under the mistletoe, probably make sweet love. This is gonna be on January. <laughs> we're just gonna cover this with the lid and we're gonna put it in the oven at 275, an hour per pound. I got about a three and a half pound roast, so we're gonna go about three and a half, four hours, and you're gonna see what this thing turns out to be. Oh my God, there's probably gonna be another song. It's probably gonna be another song. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully by Ike. <laughs> In the four hours, we're gonna lick up Ike's <laughs> hits. So what if it takes three or four hours to make? Where are you going on a Sunday? Nowhere. This is a heartwarming dish that's great in the winter time when it drops below 10 degrees, like where I'm from on the East Coast, or if you live in California when it drops below 75. As always, the recipe is in the description below and from our house to yours. Bon appetit. Can you just bring the carrots over and get a close up of them? Carrots or onions? Carrots. Carrots. When he said carrot, he meant carrot. When he said carrot, he said carrot, carrot. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Look at that. That, that. that screams Thanksgiving even though it's past. Yeah, that's crazy. Can you do it without shaking it? <laughs> How's that?